Love Go look at my post three posts ago on Instagram. I love when you fucking boo me dicks. When I was down seven years old, my mama told me if you had make yourself some friends or you'll be lonely. One shot. When I was down seven years old, one opportunity. I love when you fucking boo me dicks. My friends, I have very little to say. Life is basic. 99% of this audience is doing shit because they value somebody else's opinion more than their own. If I sat down with all of you one by one, I could figure out every dumb thing you're doing and trace it back to you're doing it to impress somebody or to prove somebody wrong. It's the biggest mistake you can make and if you leave here with anything, the second you can get quiet in here and stop worrying about the judgment of others, the second shit starts actually happening. The way I view the level of difficulty of anything to do is how few people in the world have done it. If only one person has done it, guess what? It's difficult because there's 7 billion people living in the world. If only one's done it, it's difficult. If 10 have done it, okay, great. I'll give you that argument. It's difficult. But if many have done it, it shouldn't be that difficult. Now hear me out. All of those things you tell yourself, they're all excuses. And if you buy them, you're right. The biggest difference between somebody who lives in a million dollar home and somebody that doesn't is they don't think it's a big deal to live in a million dollar home. And the rest think it's a big deal. This is my challenge to you. Stop making the big seem so big where it's so difficult. Millions of people live in million dollar homes. Millions and millions of people run successful businesses. So can you. Love. It was a big, big world, but we thought we were bigger. Pushing each other to the limits, we were learning quicker. By 11, smoking herb and drinking burning liquor. Never rich, so we were out to make that steady bigger. Love. Once I was 11 years old, if my you had... daddy told me, go get yourself a wife for you. One shot, one shot, one opportunity. One opportunity. This is my only motherfucking action. Failure's not. It spent two months in it. Now the wear and tear is starting to add up on you. The fire inside that kept you going and kept pushing you to initiate that course of action is now being tested. And you're finding that the strength to, to pursue it is fading. And what's coming in to override that is, is, is the, uh, the adversity, the, the walls, the... Uh, um, the failures, the, the, the grind, and, and, and the, the wear and tear that it takes to make this change a reality. It's supposed to be that way. It's not supposed to be an easy sale of life. No change for the betterment ever is. The reason that, that you either will make it or don't make it is a mindset. Fucking expected, my friend. Failure's not. Motivation has nothing to do with it. See, most people are waiting for motivation when motivation is just a spark to get things moving, but it's your commitment that gets you to the gym every single time. You don't go because you're motivated, you see? You don't do the things you know you need to do to reach your goals because you're motivated to do those things. You do them because you've, you've got the mindset of a machine. You just say, every Tuesday, Thursday, this is what I do. Every Tuesday, Thursday, this is what I do. Every Tuesday, Thursday, this is what I do. You just fucking do it because that's what you set out to do. When the, times come, when the time comes to do the thing, you just do the thing. You don't think about it. You don't wait for the muse. You don't wait for motivation to come. Motivation, motivation is some bullshit. You don't need motivation. You need commitment and discipline, okay? One shot. Success is my only motherfucking option. Failure's not. Once I was seven years old. One shot. One opportunity.